Welcome back to the set. Darren Vaught here with your uh, next interview. And as the theme continues, I was interviewed by Olivia. And now I'm going to talk to our other two seniors on the EHC TV crew here, Allison Asbell, Karen B.O. Uh, welcome to the set. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Darren. And Karen, fresh from uh, doing a new set of your own. Uh, how's it feel to, uh, to, to make it through these four years? And uh, I know you, you, you said at the end of your newscast for the last time, Caron B.O. EHC TV, uh, what, was your, what was your feeling going through that? Oh, I was writing it down, uh, an update this morning. I was writing out, geez, where have these last you know, years gone? This is my last news script. Uh, I can't really believe it, to be honest. I mean, it's just kind of flown by. You know, for, mm -hmm. you know, when I started, it was just like, you know, I, I was making full of mistakes and now I've you know, improved and it seems like it was just yesterday. Allison, what are your thoughts on uh, just reflecting on, on EHC TV for the past few years now? Well, I was way more behind the scenes, which is better for me. So I got to watch y'all, make sure y'all look good. That was fun for me. But um, it's been fun. I mean, getting to know the crew, the EHC TV crew has been quite an adventure. I've had fun. I like the behind the scenes a lot better. I like the camera work and getting to yell at people and tell them what to do. I'm better at that. <laughs> the yelling at people. You enjoyed the rant too a few times though, right? I did do the rant a couple times. Yeah, every, every now and then I need a good release. Built up anger. I let the rant happen. <laughs> So let's talk about, I know I came in with you guys, I probably know most of these stories to begin with, but why each of you uh, chose Emory and Henry uh, ultimately as your college uh, coming out of high school uh, four years ago that uh, seems like just yesterday, but uh, I'll start with you, Karan. How did you end up here? Well, the story of how I ended up here, like with MassCom, well, it had nothing to do with coming here to the college. I actually came into the program my second year. Uh, I had no idea I wanted to do MassCom. I was in the English program and uh, I wanted to go into something that was going to give me, you know, more of a, more of a foundation, you know, going into writing. I mean, if you're just going to be a writer, it's risky. So, this uh, ended up being my passion, and what was an English major turned into an English minor, and this became my major. Allison. Well, it's actually funny. Um, I, Emory and Henry wasn't even on the radar for me. Uh, I was actually going to go to the University of Tennessee. I had applied, gotten in and everything, my whole family went there, but I played soccer in high school and got recruited to come here and play. And so I came on a visit thinking, I'll just go for the t-shirt, because who, you know, everybody wants an extra t-shirt. But I came and loved it, and the next day I went home and called UT, and I was like, I'm not coming, and I committed to come play here. And then I just fell in love with MassCom, and I've been here ever since. You said you committed to come play here, of course, you're, you, uh, uh, a member of the, the women's soccer team, Caron, a cross-country runner for Emory and Henry. Talk about your athletic experiences here and uh, how they have sort of affected your, your growth as a, as a person, as a student, uh, as, a, as a whatever you want to talk about, Caron. Well, Darren, I got to say, um, it's the same story there. I came in, I came in injured, so that didn't even start till my second year as well. <laughs> but uh, the injury and Staying here in an academic institution made all the difference for me. You know, helped me grow in different ways I hadn't done before. And uh, when I went back to running, uh, to racing, uh, it just added that much more onto who I was becoming. And this college has helped me mature so much. And Allison, you played four years uh, on the soccer team. How was that? Yeah, it was. It was fun. It's very demanding. Soccer is a very demanding sport. You know, we always give like the football team. You know, we hackle them about how we can always run more. We're out at 6 a.m. running miles and throwing up. But it's a, it's a demanding sport, and you've got to learn how to prioritize, and I think that's helped in a lot of aspects of college. Now, you both uh, enjoy the outdoors. That's part of your personalities. You guys have both uh, actually, through our, our four years of taking classes and getting to know each other, have mentioned uh, how, how much you would enjoy working for someone like National Geographic or someone like that. Um, where, where does this all start? Where does this connection with the outdoors and, and sort of uh, travel, uh, where, does, where does that start for you, Karen? Since I was a kid, can't, can't even remember when. I mean, I'm going to guess probably when I was five years old. Uh, I just always love going outdoors, uh, love doing whatever I can, love pushing my body to its limits, competition, whatever it is. Um, I like taking risks. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's just ingrained in me, so, uh, I don't know, call me uh, an adrenaline junkie, <laughs> that's what it is. 
Allison, maybe not quite as much of an adrenaline junkie. But no, I'd like to think I'm not as much of a life insurance <laughs> <laughs> issue. But um, ever since I was little, my family has always tried to, as they would say, make me cultured. And when I was young, I grew up going hiking with my family and things like that, going to Cades Cove, going to the beach. Um, and then I remember my very first trip out of the country was when I was in fifth grade to Scotland. My dad pulled our family out of school for a week and took us on a trip to Scotland. And ever since then, I've been to places all around the world. And so I just like being able to see different cultures in different places and then, you know, have an experience to tell about. I think that's one of the coolest things. Well, speaking of uh, your travels, you both were part of a study abroad group for the MassCom department that went to Zambia with Dr. Uh, Twange Kasoma. And uh, it's, I've heard some stories from that experience, and it seems like it was really, really uh, enriched. Uh, why don't you talk about that a little bit? Well, um, I guess we could all say, you know, we all went to the same places. Uh, we went to newspaper, radio, and TV. Uh, I guess you could say some of the most interesting times, I'll just mention one as an example. Uh, we went to a riot where they were burning tires and yelling and screaming. They were bringing in like riot control and uh, here we were, uh, complete you know, novices at this and we were just dropped in there with the TV crew and it was like, well, <laughs> survive, <laughs> try to survive. Uh, it was interesting. Allison? Um, I didn't do that. I didn't get to see <laughs> tires burning and things but the day they did that, I actually got to go meet the Zambian national soccer team, and I met the president of Zambia that day because they were, it was right before the Olympics that were in Africa, and they were preparing to go to some qualification game, and I got to meet them, which I thought was cool. I don't, I don't think I would have done very well with burning tires and riots and that. Seems kind of scary. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be in that. <laughs> so uh, really quickly to finish up, guys, just uh, a, a pretty general question. I'm sure you've been getting a lot with graduation uh, up, up and coming. What's next? What's next for Care on BO? Going to graduate school in University of Florida. Uh, just uh, received official notification. I have a teacher's assistantship this summer. So uh, classes start in J July. Uh, I'll be there. Well, great. For yeah. uh, MassCom, of course. Yeah. Allison? Um, I'm going to take a year off because I'm tired of school, <laughs> and then I'm going to try to get into grad school at Virginia Commonwealth University, so hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll make it. Well, great. Sounds like you guys have got everything planned out pretty well. Uh, I know I've enjoyed the past four years uh, alongside both of you in classes and with the HCTV here, and uh, it's, it's going to be odd separating as we graduate, but uh, thanks, for, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. That's it for your interview.